Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a Valentine bouquet. I'm going to come right about here in the center and I'm going to draw a square. Straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. I start over here on the left and I draw a straight line out on top, straight line out on the bottom. Come back to the top and draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line, connect. Now I come over to the right hand side, straight line out on top, straight line out on the bottom, come back in and draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line, connect. I come right here in the center on the left and I just go zigzag, zigzag on the right, zigzag, zigzag on the left. I come up and I draw one straight line, two straight lines, three straight lines, four straight lines, five straight lines, six straight lines. Some of you might draw more, some of you might draw less, but we're doing a whole array of straight lines. Now I come down below and I'm going to draw them again. One straight line, two straight lines, three straight lines, four straight lines, five straight lines, six straight lines. Okay, I come back to the top starting on the left. I put a dot. I draw a big curve line out, down, connect, come back to the dot, big curve line out, down, connect. Come to the next line, put a dot, big curve line out, down, connect, go back to the dot, big curve line out, down, connect. Now you can see they're all going to be different sizes and this might even be our first overlap. I put a dot, I draw a big curve line out, down, connect, go back to the dot, big curve line out, down, connect. Come down to the next one, draw a dot, big curve line out, down, connect, come back to the dot, big curve line out, down, connect. Come to the next one, put a dot, big curve line out, down, connect, go back to the dot, big curve line out, down, connect. And now our final one, put a dot, big curve line out, down, connect, come back to the dot, big curve line out, down, connect. Okay, now I come back to the first one and I'm just going to put little dots all the way around the inside of the space. Okay, the second one I'm going to draw straight diagonal lines across, all the way across the space. This one I'm going to draw baby circles filling up the space. I do the next one starting on the inside. I draw curve lines all the way around the inside of the space. Last one, I'm going to repeat my dots. So I do my dots on the inside. Keep going. And the last one, I'm going to draw my straight diagonal lines. Now, some of you might have different designs you want to do, and that's fine. These are just the ones I chose. Now I go back to the very first straight line and I'm going to mimic that line and draw another one down. Continue to the next one. I'm just making a little bit of a straight line so that when I color, I'll have a little bit of color. Once I do it on the top, now I come down to the bottom. But on the bottom ones, I'm going to draw a straight line out and a little straight diagonal connect. Straight line down, straight diagonal connect, straight line down, connect, straight line down, straight diagonal line connect, 
straight line down, straight line connect, and straight diagonal down, straight line connect. Okay, let's see how we're going to color these in. Okay, I always keep different colors of my crayons regardless if they're broken or torn up. I keep everything because I never know when I'm going to need it. So on my bow, in this space, I'm going to use my regular red, okay? But then I'm going to come up and I'm going to use my regular red on an ABAB pattern on my diagonals. I'm going to use my regular red on the inside of my curved lines. And I think that's all I did. Next up, pink. So I did this all pink. I did my other pattern on my diagonals pink. I came over and did this dot pink. And I did my diagonals on this space pink also. Next, I used red violet. And I did red violet on this part of my diagonal lines. And then I went and got my red orange because it's got red in it also. And I did around my baby circles. And again, you can pick your own colors. These are just the ones I did. I know some of you like purple a lot. And then I used my violet red. Or maybe I did them all. I think I did them all. Okay, now I come in and with my regular green, I color my stems, this space right here on the top, and then I switch and I color these stems down here on the bottom. And I color mine dark because I like a bold color, but like I said, you can make your own coloring choices the main thing is that you finish. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Here's my Valentine bouquet all colored in, ready to be given to the person you love. Okay, bye-bye.